so going up towards high downhill um, lovely day today an awful lot of people here seem to be doing a lot of work um, yeah car park so we're uh, we'll see what we find oh might have to go this way be able to take my mask off when uh, we start actually walking properly up the hill. It's only because I'm not that close to people but you know how it is. Trying out a different camera today. Um, hopefully this sounds a bit better. My iPhone's gone in to be uh, fixed because the home button's flicked off. So yet again, I couldn't try my new microphone. But never mind, we'll get there. So we're up here on top of High Down Hill, uh, where there used to be a smuggler who was also a windmill owner. His name was John Oliver. I'm probably okay to take this off now. John Oliver, uh, and he had a massive windmill up here, of which I can't find any remnants it has gone a long time ago um, and he used to change the colours of the sails to alert the smugglers that the uh, customs excise men were on the prowl and he used to use it as a signal and a warning to places which is great and he's buried up here his tombs up here but his tomb was built 30 years before he actually died and people thought oh it's a bit premature but um, it turns out that they think maybe he used it to store all his contraband. So anything uh, that was stolen and the smugglers they wanted to keep out of reach of the custom and excise guys, he used to store in there. So apparently he was a bit of a character. Uh, yeah, Miller, John Oliver, with two L's. And uh, when he did die, apparently he had 12 maidens all dressed in white carrying his coffin. And if you knew the hill... That's quite a carry, um, all the way up here. And he was also buried face down, facing the other way. So he said uh, when, the t when the world turned upside down, he would be facing the right way up. He would be the only person facing the right way up. So uh, yeah, a bit of a character. It's very, very warm up here, very lovely. And uh, we're gonna go and have a look at his tomb in a minute, which is over there. I'm using my second camera again because my other camera has died again. So um, yeah, we'll be going over there. We'll have a look at his tomb in a second. And uh, yeah, this is the view. So that's Worthing all the way down there. We're quite high up. I don't know how high. I will try and find out. Um, it's a lovely view. There you can see the White Cliffs. I don't think they're the White Cliffs of Dover, but we're not far off. I'm not sure that I'm picking those up. There we go. It may not focus very well. Yeah, White Cliffs of Dover are a little bit further along. Beachy Head and all that. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we get along there. Um, so yeah, we we go up to John Oliver's uh, tomb. There used to be a massive tree there, but they've actually cut it down. It uh, it was, became dangerous, which is a bit of a shame. They made it into a seat, but it's a massive seat. So let's go and have a look. It's actually much more busy up here than I expected it to be. Um, that's not the seat. That's one the council put in. There's the seat that used to be a rather lovely tree. Oh wow, look how weather-worn that is. If 
people used to leave offerings. Oh, look, there's like a love heart there. <laughs> people used to leave offerings. Oh, they still have, look. They used to leave those in the tree. Um, but this is the tomb of John Oliver with two L's. Very weather-worn now, you can't, you can hardly read the description that's on the side. But it's just surrounded by lovely countryside. And the windmill was around here. I'm presuming not those trees, but it may be, because I think it was 17th, 18th, 18th century, so... So, uh, yeah, me and my woodland, I love it. So there's John Oliver, buried upside down. I don't think the world's turned upside down just yet. So, um, but quite... I can't, the bars are in the way. It's a skeleton there, uh, fighting what we believe is a customs and excise guy and uh, there's some words there fear of God he was very fa uh, very um, very religious John Oliver and uh, I have got a blog on this so I'll link it below see if you could come and have a look but let me just see if I can find the words that are written on some of the tomb, not all of it. So, let me find a place that I can stand you. So, that skeleton is there for a reason. Oh, there's somebody coming. I need to find somewhere else because, whoop, you were what I did. There's lots of people up here. Let me find somewhere where nobody will disturb us. I'll see if I can find a spot. But we can sit and chat. I do understand uh, <laughs> that my face keeps going all to the side and up all over the place. Uh, one, I'm rubbish, and two, I don't have a long enough arm to keep me that way I do if I walk with a very, very straight arm. So apologies, that's just the way I film. Um, I don't suppose anything will change. So yeah, here I am on top of the earthworks on uh, High Down Hill and uh, if I swing you around in a minute we'll be able to see the sea. Look at this, this is the sea. This is how lucky I am. There you go. The English Channel or the British Channel. I thought it was the English Channel, but you know how things offend these days. So, British Channel. There's the wind farm. I'm not sure if it's focus. It's um, very hazy again today. Hopefully you can see that. There we go, I can just about see it now. So there's the wind farm that was built. Some people dislike it. I don't mind it, I actually quite like it saving the planet, let's do that. Naked jogger. It's always very nice. Let's go and see. Oh, there's a hunting bird there. I've been seeing quite a lot of those lately, which is rather good. Let's go and see what this marker says. I know it's saying that it's the summit of the hill, but um, let's go and have a look. Right, yeah, I just think it's the thing to say we're at the summit of the hill, all the markings have come off now, weather worn. Um, I think that's just directional stuff. I'm presuming there was something on there uh, that no longer is. So, there we go. I know it's got a name, but I can't think of it. Right. So, the, uh, the spooky skeleton on the side of John Oliver's coffin does have a meaning because written on the side, which I've got the uh, what's the word? Not the decipher. You know what I mean. So it does say, "Why start you at that skeleton? 
'Tis your own picture that you shun. Alive it did resemble thee, and thou, when dead, like that shall be. Cheery. Cheery, cheery. And John um, Oliver died in 1793. So that's, uh, that's a long time ago. And the coffin was carried by maidens dressed in white. Purportedly, he is buried upside down, believing at the last judgment the whole world will be reversed and he will be the only one facing the right way. If you run around the tomb five times at midnight, allegedly John Oliver himself will rise from the grave and offer you a very stiff drink. And if I saw John Oliver on midnight, believe you me, I'd be drinking it. Let's go have a look back at the tomb. Hopefully there's people there. Let's go down this little path here. Oh no, I'm not going to. Because <laughs> I know that's taking me right down into the dip. And I don't need to go into the dip. I need to follow it round this side. To lead me back to his, uh, his grave. Yeah, so that tomb's been there since 1793. No wonder everything's weather-worn. The only side that isn't weather-worn is the one that's protected by the trees. So I wonder what other skeletal pictures were on there that we can no longer see. Bit of a shame, really. Ooh. I hope you don't suddenly hear a skid. Because me being me didn't put my walking boots on today. No. Converses with cherries on. What else would a girl wear? Mm, I'm not a lady adventurer for nothing, you know. Last time I came up here, it was actually to watch the Morris dancers and it was pitch black when we left. And there are a lot of holes, like, you know, like this. And um, I was carrying some of the picnic stuff and, uh, yeah, I'm really lucky I didn't break my leg, to be honest with you. <laughs> Straight down a hole, you know when you're so sure-footed, you're just walking and then bang, there's no ground there. It's like, jeez, I was so lucky just not to turn my ankle even. Uh, we go a different way down because then you've seen two sides. Let's go this way. So here I am, the lonely wanderer, as some people call me. I'm not always on my own, mostly I am. I'd say 90% of the time I'm on my own. I think I've posted up quite a few videos with somebody, but 95% um, of the time, yeah probably on my own. I, I do like it though. I do like it. Look at these lovely things. Oh you are lovely. Hello darling. Yes. Just full of slobber. That's oh yeah that's that's a problem but we still love them for it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I thought they were mastiffs but actually they were some sort of like pit bull. Don't know what they are. Beautiful. God, I love dogs. Dogs make me so happy. Right, uh, this way. Let's go this way. Got I know, it's bad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah they've got um, pinched ears. Oh, I think those ladies are still on the bench, but hey. Yeah. But I go up this way. I'll try and talk, but... I don't like talking when I'm near people because they always think you're a little bit weird. Oh, lots of people here. Oh, and another doggy. Look at that. There we go. So this is the other side of the tomb. I've come back down again now. Oh, this has still got a little bit written on it. There we go. John Oliver. I don't think you can see it through the bars, but if I got any closer, you wouldn't be able to see it at all. So, in memory of John Oliver Miller, who departed this life, the 22nd of April, oh, 1793, aged 84 years. 
there you go and he built this tomb 30, 30 years before he died so there you go 54 he built that and it was probably full of whiskey for a good many years so he's face down there waiting for us to turn the right way up don't you just love people like that there should be more there should be more definitely so Worthing Borough Council oh positively no metal detecting now that's because there's an earthworks up there so the local archaeologists will be dealing with that one so the Miller's Tale there you go I'll leave that there for a bit hopefully you can read it and there's the uh, there's a windmill that was there, not there anymore. So, stranger, enjoy the sweet enchanting scene, the pleasing landscape and the velvet green. Yet thou the eye delighted rose, think on better scenes above. John Oliver. Oh, there you go. The inscription on the lid dated 1766 confirms that John Oliver had his tomb erected 27 years before his death. The inscription reads, For the reception of the body of John Oliver, when deceased to the will of God, granted by William Westbrook Richardson, Esquire, 1766. Wish I knew where that windmill was, though. Bound to have been over there somewhere. So, let's go down again. So, lots of places to sit. Lots of views. And that is Dover over there. Just, uh, it looks closer than it actually is. Dover's quite a way. Well, not that far, but an hour and a half probably. If you take the scenic route. So there you go. This is high downhill. It's worth the walk. There is a car park. You don't have to walk all the way up the hill, but it's... It's not a difficult walk, but it will take your breath away if you're unfit like I am. Oh, when the ladies have gone now, typically, now that I've finished. John Oliver. Rest in peace. Oh, well, that's a real shame, because I was going to take you into High Down Gardens. Um, it's closed. That's what all this construction and, and work is all about. Sorry, copy it close then. <laughs> Um, yeah, look. So a new era for the gardens. So they closed until 2020. Well, obviously it's going to be a lot longer than that because of the uh, the virus. But uh, there's a hill we come up. So oh, another trip out. There's a surprise. I think those ladies are following me. Everywhere I go. not really um, yes so yet another vlog I've done where I need to come back again how weird is that but then again there is all this construction work so something should have made me think come on Del <laughs> you know look so yeah I'm like ooh, nearly uh, I'm not the brightest spark in the book. I don't take, I don't necessarily catch on straight away. So uh, anyway, I've got to drive across this awful stuff now, and I always think about my tyres. I can't bear it. Um, there, this stuff. I know that your tyres are absolutely fine, but it's just me, me being a neurotic. So yeah, all parked through here. So um, I might as well go home and start editing then. And I'll have to come back to High Down Gardens another day. <sighs> another trip back to the same place. But hey, catch you soon. Ta-da. Right, I'm actually in the car. I'm not sure this is gonna work or not. Um, I'm not breaking the law. I'm not ha holding my camcorder as I drive. But um, the drive up here is really, really nice, I noticed, and I wished I had the camera out. So I'm gonna have the camera on the dashboard and I'm just gonna film the journey back down again. Um, it might work. I hope it does because I think it's really lovely. Um, let's see, shall we? Let's go. I bet you fall over a couple of times, but 
I won't edit that out because it'd be quite funny. Right. <laughs> I've tried to stabilise the camera. I can see where I'm going. I bet it falls over. But here, especially on that rocky gravel. But let's give it a go. we've only just started. I think I'll hold on to you for now and then I'll start you again in a minute when it's safe. Okay you could possibly be at a funny angle I can't really see but fingers crossed. Here we go should be all right from here on. Oops you can't see. There we go. Hopefully I won't crash. but I come in off a very fast dual carriage rate so there's no way unless I get a dash cam uh, which I could I guess um, it's not really going to be that good but we'll have a look when we get home we'll have a look I think I'll keep this running until I get home just to see if it falls over it falls over I'll just try and grab it my coffee going. I uh, I had to take the camera down because it was going to fall off on the roundabout and that would have been really dangerous. So uh, I think I might invest in a car cam, is that what they call them, a dash cam, uh, to put on there because then you'd be able to see a bit of driving sped up maybe. Um, not that that's interesting but it's something different to look at isn't it? Especially if you live in a different country and you're thinking oh how do they drive over there in Britain? Well strangely is all I can say. <laughs> But my coffee's nearly done, so um, thanks for watching. I'll catch you soon. Hit the subscribe button. So, coffee, <sighs> lovely. Cheese and mayo toasted sandwich. Ready, ready, ready. Hot sunny day. Let's have a look rather than you look at the washing. There you go, hot sunny day. And I've done some filming. The day is good. <laughs>